Hey YouTube, what's going on? Firefist Packers here bringing you guys yet another live reaction. This is going to be my live reaction to Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 or Arc V, however you guys like to pronounce it. Episode 138. Um, it says the Shadow Winged Dragon um, is the title, but um, uh, might not be the title sometimes. It's just a little different of variation of words and everything. Got the episode all loaded up. I'm going to full screen it and uh, hit play. So when the catastrophe year began, Sautori and I headed from the Academy Underground Training Facility to the destroyed Fusion Dimension City where we found a hurt Edo and Sora. From their story, this catastrophe year was caused by Leo Akaba's dimensional integration. We knew what broke the city was Supreme King Dragon Zark. Which was formed when Yuya, Yuto, Yugo, and Yuri became one with their dragons. And then you see Zark dragon there. Edo and Sora believed that Yuya's heart was still in there and fought, but were defeated before its overwhelming power. Now Kurosaki and Kaido are also. Action spell, miracle activate. So this is the end of last week's episode. Action spell, evasion, activate. My power lets me to gate and destroy cards added to your hand outside the draw phase. <clears throat> and there goes the cards. Even the action cards. Lose before me. <laughs> and then his two little dragons attack Shun and Kaito and they go flying back. But we won't give up. And then we see Shun giving Gong the uh, necklace. Wait for us, Yuya. If Zark closed off your heart, then I will... Jack Atlas will free it! Let's go! Yo, okay, then there's a song. Uh, I'll go to, like, 251. Go with A. Okay, so that wasn't where the episode... Okay. Gonzageka and Jack challenge Zark, the demon duelist entertainment? Hmm. Yeah, the Shadow Winged Dragon is the title of this episode. So Jack and Gong are sitting there. Jack takes off. My turn! While there are no monsters on my field, I can special summon Red Gargoyle from my hand. 1200 attack. Next, I summon the Tuner Monster, Red Resonator. Now, Red Gargoyle's effect activates and Red Resonator gains two levels. I tune the level 4 Red Gargoyle to the now level 4 Red Resonator. Yo, he's going for it. The heaven and earth shall tremble before the king's might. Let the power of the one and only supreme ruler be carved into your soul. Synchro summon. Appear red dragon archfiend Scarlight. Are you guys alright? What's that huge dragon? I think I see red dragon. Is that the fusion dimension? Damn it, when things get important, I'm... It's all your fault, Crow. Crow. Yeah, he tried to help me in the underground facility. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot that Crow has turned into a card. If it's Jack and Gongensaka, I'm sure our thoughts will reach Yuya. Let's see it together, right, Crow? Yuya Sakaki, if your soul still exists, then listen. Wherever you are hiding, I will drag you out. Yes, just like you dragged out the mighty battle beast. I will get you back my own way. Once per turn, Red Dragon Archfiend Scarlet can destroy all special summon monsters on the field with less attack. And deal 500 damage to the opponent for each one. Foolish Synchro user. 
The moment when you summoned a synchro monster before me, you knew you already lost. What? What does he mean? It can't be. Just like how he XYZ summoned during my turn, but without a tuner. While I'm on the field, I can tribute two Supreme King Servant Dragon Dark Worms and Synchro Summon. Kin with wings of light, deceive enemies with your sharp wings. Synchro Summon, appear Supreme King Servant Dragon, clear wing. I guess that guy's Yugo? They look the same, but they're different. Yugo is like Yuya and Yuzo got... Hold on. Sawa, Sawa. Is there such a thing? Anyway, Yugo is a friend, not an enemy. God damn it. If I could only fight, I could call out to Yugo with my entertainment dueling. When Supreme King Servant Dragon Clearwing is special summon, I can negate and destroy all of your face-up monsters. <laughs> I send Brutal Red from my hand to the graveyard till the end phase. Red Dragon and Earthfeed Scarlet cannot be destroyed and it gains 1,000 attack. So now it's at 4,000. Yay! Red Dragon is saved. And it gained 1,000 attack, as expected of Jack. Let's go! Yuya, battle! Red Dragon, Archfiend Scarlet attacks Supreme King, Servant Dragon, Clearwing. Once per turn, Supreme King, Servant Dragon, Clean Clearwing can negate a battle and destroy the other monster. And it deals damage based on that monster's attack. Because of Brutal Red in the Graveyard, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Skylight cannot be destroyed this turn. Another deflection. Red Dragon, Archfiend is Jack's soul. As long as it's with Jack, it will not be destroyed. But what else can Jack do this turn? I set one card and end my turn. At this moment, moment, Brutal Red's effect ends and Red Dragon Archfiend Scarlight's attack returns to normal. I will not give up. Yuya, no matter how many times I'm deflected, I will go my own way. Even if there's no road in front of me, I will go to where you are. The one to open that road is the man Gongensuka. My turn! From my hand, I summon the tuner monster Super Heavy Samurai Battle Ball. While I control a Super Heavy Samurai, I can special summon Super Heavy Samurai Hexagon in attack position. I tune level 6 Hexagon to the level 2 Battle Ball. Veteran who tempers blades with a loud iron hammer appear on the battlefield in a conflagration. Synchro summon. Take the field, level 8, super heavy samurai swordsmith. Another synchro user, but your defensive display is doomed to fail. Try to remember you, yeah, this is my steadfast dueling. Steadfast? If you forgot, I'll remind you. When Swordsmith is special summon, I can special summon as many Super Samurai from my hand as possible. First, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman. Next is Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. Finally, it's Super Heavy Samurai Big Benkai. This way. That's Gongensuka's Monsters. What is that huge dragon? Did the Fusion Dimension Invasion that LDS warned us about finally start? See this, Yuya. The monsters lined up here are the brave people fighting against you. Just as you inherited Entertainment Duel from your father, I am refining the teachings of the Gongetsuka Doju Steadfast style. We fought and worked hard together so many times since we were little. Even now, those hot days are engraved in my heart. You are the same. Yuya! Entertainment? Steadfast? That's right. Call up your entertainment soul. Yuya! And then attack like before. I will take it with my steadfast dueling. With this, I end my turn. Idiotacy. Even if you attempt to attack Jed... 
Jax, Red Dragon, Archie, and Scarlet, I will protect it. Even if you destroy my body. Even if you destroy his body. Yes, thanks to Swordsmith's effect, Red Dragon is protected. I see. I'll cut that guy off. His bones with Scarlet, you protect. That is the road you've paid for me. And now Zark is laughing. What's so funny? Two people joining forces? Foolish. Foolish or not, y you won't know unless you attack. Now come, Zark. No. You ya! Come with your entertainment. Very well, but my entertainment is a bit rough. What? Zark's entertainment? He has a react, the Yuya inside of him? Is my turn. From my hand, I use the equip spell Supreme King's Soul. I equip it to Supreme King Serving Dragon. Clear wing. As you wish, let's attack your monster. Battle! Supreme King Serving Dragon Clear Wing attacks Big Benkai. At this moment, the battle is negated and Big Benkai is destroyed. And you take damage equal to its attack. Supreme King Violent Spirit boosts Clear Wing's effect to affect all of your monsters instead? What? All of Yo, all of them? If this goes through Annihilation, this is Zark's entertainment? Please, Crow, protect me. Halfway point. And these beams are coming. If a monster would be destroyed during the battle phase, I contribute a super heavy samurai on my field. And special summon super heavy samurai Bushin Fudamo from my extra deck. Those subtitles went a little too fast. Defense 3000. Fudamo protects Jack's soul. Fudamo can negate the destruction of two monsters. So his other three Super Heavy Samurais are destroyed. Jack, Gongetsuka. What happened to Gongetsuka? What happened? I don't know, but Jack was once a man known as King. To lose to this? Look. There he goes. The total attack of those three monsters was only 1,000. I defended Fukuyomi and Red Dragon, Archie, and Skylight with its effect. And with Fukuyomi's effect, the battle phase is over. Did you see that, Crow? They did it. Even in a situation like that, Gongensuka protected Jack's dragon. You're amazing, Gongensuka. Hooray! What's this? What the hell? Oh, the portal's opening in front of them. And they're getting transported there? No, the whole city got... Yo, the cities are getting transported. Th that's... The city, the Synchro Dimension City appeared. What was that? That was quite interesting. You wonderfully respond to my entertainment. I'm praising you. And now you're out of laughter? I will break your hard armor with the Red Dragon Archfiend Scarlet that Gonzietsuka sacrifices monsters to protect. Jack's Highway. But is there any substance to those? In this world, if the dimensional integration is completed, but Jack has no hesitation. I believe he can do this. Jump to Yuya! Jack! And they're all looking on. Yeah, he's going on it. He's going! My turn! I activate the trap card. Vision Synchro. With its effect, I send Red Sprinter and two Tuners Dark Resonator and Net Resonator from my hand to the graveyard. And Synchro Summon. 
Using monsters in his hand to synchro summon. Hear it. The roar from my soul. Do you feel my very life? Behold, Yuya, this is my dueling. And his eyes are on fire. And remember the two duels we had that burned the city red? And now it's all red coming from him? I double tune the level 4 red sprinter to the level 3 dark resonator and level 3 net resonator. Ruler and devil, they cross here and now. Touch the soul of the crimson dragon and rise the cry of creation. Synchro summon! Appear, red dragon, archfiend, tyrant. Level 10. With 3,500 attack. Amazing, he synchro summoned from his hands. On top of that, a double tuning. With two red dragon archfiends out, there's no way he can lose. I activate the net resonator's effect that was used as material for Tyrant. As long as I control Tyrant, I take no effect damage. Targeting Red Dragon, Archfiend, Scarlet, and Tyrant, I activate Fudamodil's effect. Until the end phase, neither of those monsters can be destroyed. This is the best I can do now. I'm counting on you, Jack. With your soul's dragons, bring back Yuya's heart. Go, Jack! Please, Jack. Battle! Red Dragon, Archfiend, Scarlet Attack, Supreme King, Dragon, Clearwing. No matter what you do, it will be the same. Once per turn, Clearwing can negate the battle and destroy that monster. Scarlet won't be destroyed because of Fudoyomi's. Fudoyomio. But think back a little bit. I equip Spell Supreme King Violent Spirits Effect. Let's clear wing. Destroy all of them. Fudiomia is destroyed and you take its attack and damage. But Jack takes no effect damage because of Net Resonator. And he's just, my gong's just smiling and there he goes. Crow's card. Crow! Damn it! Where are you going? Oi, Crow! Gongetsuka! Now he's got zero life points as well. Go, Jack! Yuya, your friend sacrificed himself to give me this chance. I will take it and shoot! Receive this, Yuya. A strike from my very soul. And he jumps! Red Dragon Archfiend Tyrant attacks Clearwing. Crimson Hell Tide Inferno! There he goes, he destroyed Clearwing. Hooray! But even with that, Zark's light points will. As long as there's a Supreme King monster on my field, I take no damage due to Supreme King Gate Zero's pendulum effect. What? Furthermore, with the effect of Supreme King Gate Infinite, I gain light points from the damage I would have taken. So now he's up to 7,000 again. I end my turn. At this moment, Vision Synchro's effect ends and Red Dragon Arching Tyrant returns to my extra deck. To have an effect to recover any damage, why doesn't Yuya and Crow come to help them since they're in trouble? Where are you, Crow? Oi, are you okay? Hang in there. He's he's reacted to the word entertainment. Yuya is trying to call back. Gongensaka, there is only you now. Sawatari, for Yuya. If you can't fight, I'm still here. Crow's back! Y you're... My turn. That was Crow's voice actor. I know it. You were the most fun, so with my own hands, I will give you a reward. It's called Despair. We're joining in. Intrusion penalty, 2,000 life points. Battle, I attack Red Dragon, Archfiend, Scarlight. Oh, yo! 
Poor Jack! Oh, yo, he flew right off his bike! Or did his bike get totally destroyed? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go right into him. Oh, it hit a rock and missed him. Okay. Right. There is zero life points for Jack. I'm leaving it to you guys. So, Crow and Sawatori. Leave it to me! Finally, a super ultra hyper strong duelist, Shingo Sawatori, will decide it. Heh, <laughs> you think you can bring it just by yourself? That's Crow! I knew it, Crow's here. Crow. Crow was resurrected? How? When the new utopia is created, everyone will play there. So that means you just dad should still be around. No way. Father is... What happened to Leo Akaba? Did Raid say something? Father's trying to split the world again. Using the four cards that revive instead of me. Four cards... the end what yo so Leo Akabush trying to do what what Ray did to beat Zark but Ray did that so that he couldn't so that he didn't have to do that because he was more needed oh my god so yeah you use dad is a card but if crow already got revived as a card Maybe Yuya's dad versus Zark is going to be the final one to do it? Uh, I'd, that would be my guess right now. Um, so we got Crow and Sawatari uh, versus um, Zark coming up next, which should be good. Yo, Zark is just crushing them all. I'm trying to get to the previews here. And Sawatari even threw on uh, Yuya's necklace. Before he was like the super whatever Sawa Shingo Sawatari is here and everything. So, yeah, uh, that was really good. I really liked it. Okay, here's the previews. Come, now, duelists! I will show you the greatest entertainment in the world. Be ready to accept it. Your entertainment isn't the best in the world. Kin with eyes like the sun. Obey me and take down the enemies. Next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. The eyes tainted by darkness. The fun has just begun! Next time Sawatari and Clo Crow enter the duel. Stop Zark with both of your power. Wow, that was actually that was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this live reaction. I appreciate you guys for watching it. Um, if you liked it, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. Let me know why in the comments down below as to why you liked or disliked it. Also, give me your thoughts and opinions on this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 or Arc V, episode 138. The Shadow Winged Dragon um, was pretty decent. Um, there, Gong basically protected Jack and himself and everything, but Zark is just too overpowered right now. He's too OP right now, so they're going to have to... Looks like Crow and Sawatari are going to have a hard time. But since Crow already got revived, do you guys agree with me that maybe the final um, duel against Zark will be Yuya's father against um, Zark? Um, Yusho, that's his name. Yusho and everything, and, uh, yeah, anyway, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, uh, I'll appreciate it very much, I'm at about 30 subscribers right now, I'm trying to reach 50 by June, and it is only January 16th right now, so, um, please subscribe if you haven't, and if there's ever any anime or manga you guys would like to see me do live reactions to, Comment down below or let me know on Twitter at FFBackos. The link for my Twitter will be in the description down below. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys all have a very wonderful and safe day. No matter what you guys decide to do, 
Tell all your friends that this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 is out. Like, share, favorite, subscribe once again, guys. And please don't text and drive. It's very dangerous. If you, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you feel like it's that important, guys, please pull over to the side of the road. It can save your life, my life, anybody's life. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye or the snap of a finger. Or better yet, just shut your phone off or put it on silent until you get to your destination. Because let's face it, texting and driving is not that important and it's stupid to do. And that does this for this live reaction. Um, this is Firefus Backer signing out, saying take care, have a wonderful day once again, guys. And I will talk to you guys later in the next live reaction. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.